Well, we have here a uh, new package of Bic butane lighters, which we'll just open up. Take one out. Seems to be working fine. And we have here some nice fresh main snow. There we go. Let's try to burn our chemtrail snow and see what we get here. Hey, look at that. It turns black. What the hell is that? Is it chemtrails? What else could it possibly be? Look at that. That's not snow. Or is it? Let's try some other, uh, some other items. Well, we have seen snow mysteriously blackened when exposed to a butane flame. What would happen if we tried another object, say, an ordinary spoon? Let's give it a try. Oh my, seem to be forming a layer of soot on the bottom of this spoon. Just the same as with the snow. How oh, very odd. Well, maybe the chemtrails have gotten to the, uh, to the spoon as well. How about, oh, a Dilbert coffee mug? Will it behave the same if we play a a butane flame on it? Oh gee. Gee, I think it does. Look at that. It becomes sooted up just like the snow in the spoon does. You know what? Maybe I think that the darkening of these objects has more to do with the butane flame than with the item that we expose to the butane flame. Butane, folks, produces soot. If you put something in a butane flame, it's going to condense soot onto the surface. It's got nothing to do with chemtrails.